Excel has lots of built-in functions. And you can see these by going into the insert function here or by clicking on formulas and seeing them here. Clicking on insert function, I can see there are simply loads of functions. Financial functions, date and time, statistics, engineering, you name it. There are loads and loads in here. I haven't even tried all of them, but I can assure you there's usually something for everyone, including something as simple as just summing up some numbers or getting an average. But what if you've got a function that isn't here and you need it and you want to create it so that you can use it over and over again in this workbook or in other workbooks or even perhaps to give to your colleagues? Well, you can create a custom function. Another reason that you might want to create a custom function is you might have something like an if function, which you might want to have nested functions in there, so more than one if statement, if condition, that is. And you can do that up to seven times if you were just typing it in here. However, if you create a custom function, you can do a lot more. Well, how do we do this? So let's just use this as an example, and this is going to have one input field. Oh, that's the other thing. When you do this, I'm just going to choose anything at random here, you will get these fields to fill in as well, which really helps. So it will appear in the insert function here too. So let's just cancel that. So here we've got some scores. We want to get a grade whether or not they've got pass, fail, credit or distinction. Anything over 50 will be a pass. Anything over 70, distinction, credit over 60, and anything under 50 is a fail. And we're going to use an if statement within a function to actually create that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our developer tab here, go into Visual Basic. Now what you need is another module. So I'm just going to right click here. I'm going to choose Insert Module. And here is my module. I, it's just come up in here. You can see it right there. You can see I've got other ones open. And I'm going to just start off by typing function. Now, if you've been using macros, you normally start off by typing sub for sub procedure. So I'm going to have here student grade as a value that I want to return. So that is going to be my function name. And it's also going to be the variable that it returns as well. So I need that. I now need to give it a score here. So let's enter the scores. Let's just call it my score as an integer. And you've probably seen my tutorial on variables, so you'll know all about variables, which that my score is there. So that's going to be the function name. That's also going to be the result, which then returns that. So to do this, we just need an if statement here. So basically, if my score is greater than or equal, let's get that right, my score is greater than or equal to 70, then the student grade, which is the same name as over here, and you can see that I don't need to do any of the capitalizing because if I actually type it correctly, it will automatically do that for me, is equal to a distinction. Very good, that would be a good score. You'll see when I press enter, that's now changed to capital S and a G. So now I need to do the same again for the credit. So I'm just going to do else if my score is greater than or equal to 60, then, and let's just make this simple for ourselves. Let's just copy that. So I'm just control C, tab that in there just to make it easier to read. Double click on the distinction and type in credit. I'm going to do this again for the pass. So I'm just going to highlight all of that. Control C again. Backspace to get rid of the tab. Copy that in. Change that to 50. And let's make that pass. And you could see you could just keep going here. So let's do that else. And the student grade is a fail if they didn't. So, and then I just need my end if. There we go. I'm just going to save this spreadsheet. Now, you do have to remember to save it as an, an, a macro enabled spreadsheet. So I'm just going to hit that. I'm just going to call this one here 
function. Helps if I spell it all cor correctly. Function. Don't forget to change this drop down here. You'll see it ex ends in XLSM, M for macro. Hit save. Now, let's just return here to my Microsoft Excel spreadsheet by clicking here. And if I go to insert function, click here, I now have one that says user defined. And it's got one there called student grade. So let's just click on OK. Lo and behold, it wants me to enter in my function argument here. Just click there. And you know what? Just like any other function, it's showing me the result right here. So I'm going to click on OK. I could just drag this down, which I'm going to do. I could go all the way. I'm just going to leave the bottom one for a moment. And there you go. That's done that function there. Very neat, isn't it? So this is for just one argument. I could also type it in. And you'll see, just like any other function, if I start typing, it fills it all in for me. So there you go. That's how you can create a one argument custom function. I've got another tutorial to show you how to create a two function and more. So stick around for those. They should be coming out very soon if they're not there already. Also show you how to create an add-in so you can have this function available on any workbook.